Then, uh, speaking of the Baldo, uh, Nick Ricada ain't up to too much. Um, however, MN Public Records did scan more documents. And this time, it is Ricada's attorney in the criminal matter, so this is not Randazza, has filed a request to prompt the judge to uh, seal all juvenile-related materials from the public record. This is an interesting filing because it's not usually something you file for. Uh, as I said, the, the statute allows the judge to decide on his own that he is going to file the records. So they request that all the juvenile records be sealed. The prosecution doesn't even say, like, okay, we're going to contest this. And then the judge says, number one, you cited the wrong statute for this. And number two... Um, no. <laughs> so that's not happening. I wonder why. I wonder if the judges in this case are profusely fucking irritated by this loud mouth and his uh, constant blathering on social media. Isn't that interesting? Um, so after this leaked out, there was something the, the, the court, the prosecuting uh, party, put out all these... Um, disclosures regarding information that they had. So this is uh, Kirst Kristen Pierce, the first assistant Candy Ohio County attorney, uh, filed basically their disclosures about what evidence they have. Um, and one of the things that was interesting that immediately caught attention was, and by the way, this has like a lot of stuff. There's medical records. There's um, the transition form for going into custody. There's uh, more medical records related to the drug testing. There's various court documents, the hair test, photos of the home, emails with the, the child custody people, um, the petition for the emergency protective order, uh, and, and notes from their meetings regarding like foster care and stuff. But the interesting stuff is right here at the top. It says child protection intake summary dated, and then you have the five kids and their respective intakes from uh, his arrest. But then you have one from February 2023, and then one from February 2009, as in a long-ass time ago, 15 years ago. More than that, even. So people are really like, why are there two more CPS cases from 2009 in 2023 that doesn't line up with the arrest that's weird so there's all sorts of rampant and baseless speculation as there is when these things come out um this is just uh the highlight of the things that i already, already talked about uh i then received an emergency press release from the office of the baldo general uh which addresses people in a royal royal you all kind of way, even though it was sent directly to me. So I don't know if this was a message sent to like a bunch of people he doesn't like at this point. But he says, <clears throat> and now with the way that this is worded, it really reminds me of how PPP does like his baldo court voice where he tries to act like, like a like a royal um like a monarch issuing edicts and stuff. He says since you all are retarded and don't have any way to know, the 2000 case is not ours. We were foster parents for that placement. We have to stop fostering due to pregnancy complications with our second child. All CPS cases prior to the arrest date of 523, of which there are only two, were screened as not sufficient and ignored because there was no actual basis for them. Um, I think he's implying that the one in 2023 uh, was a A-log that was trolling him with CPS. And then the one in 2009 was a related foster care parenting case um, that just so he his name happens to be on because he had to return a child to the foster care system um, because his wife had issues, which... To be fair, it could be very plausible. This was a much different Ricada in 2009. Um, the 2023 one, it's just his word. Obviously, he's at liberty to open up all these records whenever he pleases to. He could consent to the body cam footage right now to expedite things. Um, but he's choosing not to and instead choosing to deflect based off a one-sided story as we await the actual prosecution. Uh, Rage Pig posted this clip and I want to play it. Oh, Kiwi Bros. 
I don't I don't feel so good, Kiwi Bros. <laughs> So it was after um, the appeals case came in Greer's favor uh, last year. Just wondering. Uh, and I did actually get a. I asked uh, my attorney to to nudge the Candy Ohio County for an update, and they did reply with an update that says we are still waiting for our RT, for our IT to co compile and transfer information to a thumb drive. We will send as soon as they have completed it. Thank you, and have a great Fourth of July from the Candy Ohio County Sheriff Record Supervisor. Um, this means that they're still working on the actual footage because they're going to have to redact information. Basically, the IT slave is going to have to go through and blur out like anything sensitive on apparently tens of hours of body cam footage. So as soon as um, that's done, they're going to transfer that information to a thumb drive and then send it to us. Um, well, we're going to have to pay them um, once they have it ready. But then once, once they're paid, they're going to send it to us on a thumb drive. Um, that will be going to Hardin's uh, mail, mail office. And then I'll have to figure out a way. Because if it's like tens of hours of footage, I'm going to upload that all directly to Rumble. And since it was paid for by everybody, I'm just going to not watermark it or anything. Um, and uh, maybe. Maybe I should, just because I'm putting in all this effort. Should I what? I don't like watermarks in general, but now that it's me that could benefit from it, I'm kind of tempted, chat. I'll have to think about it. It would be easier, I think, just to upload it raw because um, then I don't have to re-encode it and I don't have to upload it myself because right now my upload speed is still terrible. Whereas if I can like remote upload it from like a, a computer in uh, Hardin's commercial office building, like directly to Rumble, it would be much, much, much faster, but like an order of magnitude. We'll think about it. We'll think about it. I won't let her mark it as aggressively as, as Dick's footage because I look like no, it won't abstract anything in the middle. Thanks for watching this clip. This is Willow. Remember to like and subscribe.